Oi. Oh. Oh, I hate when that happens. Oh, I was just about to sneeze. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Not true. Bless you. This week is the last week of the entire Sefer Bereshit. It is the end of the first book of the five books of Moses, and it ends very strangely. It doesn't really carry the story along that much. Like, we kind of hear the passing of Yaakov, we learn about the passing of Joseph, uh, not so much about what the Jews are doing. Last week's parasha was basically the end. It basically taught us about the moving of the family of Jacob to the land of Egypt, and that's kind of the precursor to the whole experience in the next book. And all of a sudden, we kind of veer away from that story, that historical, chrono chronological story, and we're just talking about, really, a bunch of blessings that Jacob is giving to his sons. That's really what's going on. And Jacob gives blessings to Joseph's sons, and gave, Jacob gives blessings to to all of his own sons, and it's this kind of blessing and that kind of blessing, and it's beautiful, and some of them are not so beautiful, and it's just... We're, it's just ending on a blessing. And why? Like, you know, blessings are important. We really, you know, we're, we like them, but let's carry the story. You want the ending of the story to be able to connect to the next one. How is this, the giving over of blessings, connecting us to the next part of the story? That's really the question over here. And that's really the answer. That's really ultimately the answer. Because ultimately, the only thing that matters, the only thing that's going to bring us from point A to point B are the blessings. Not just the blessings of the forefathers, not just the blessings of the really holy people, but the blessings of a family that is together, that is one, that is united. We could end off the entire Sefer Bereshit, with the story of Vayigash, and they all move down, and they settle in the land of Goshen, and they figure out what they're going to do. We could end there, and it would be fine. It would be a good ending. But that's not what carries us over to the next chapter, because the next chapter is exile. And not only is it exile, it is the formation of us as a nation. We don't need a connector to carry our story forward. We need a blessing. Because that is the only thing that will ever get us through exile. That is the only thing that will help us mold into the people that we need to be. Our achdut, our unity, our connection to each other, our connection to the one above, our Father, who's taking care of us always. That is what will carry us over. That is the ultimate connector. When we can look at each other, we can look at our brothers and sisters and friends and family and the people around us and the entire humanity and say to them, I'm going to give you a blessing. I'm with you. That's the whole point of this parsha, Vayechi. That is the entire point. That is what connects us. That is what will carry us over. Please like this video. The thumbs up down there. Subscribe to the channel. There is more awesome stuff coming. Have an awesome week. I love you guys.